My name is Susie and I am a 50 year old woman who loves running. It's very hard to balance leisure time with doing your chores, taking care of a family and working in corporate America, especially because we don't have us anything. Welcome to I Run Things. Good morning, guys. Today's Sunday. I'm gonna take this off because I'm not listening to anything. And I am going to do some strength training. I haven't strength trained in so long. I can't even remember when it was the last time I strength trained. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some strength training and then I'm gonna go for a light jog. I ran in the prior video. That was the last time I ran, it was Friday. And we did seven miles, something like that. So I ran with my brother in Madrid. We landed Friday so, so late. I was so tired yesterday. I was just like, oh. I think I slept probably 12 hours because it was a long commute. Just, long story short, the rates to fly were much better from JFK in New York City than from Philadelphia or Newark. So we flew from JFK, which means we need to take the air train in JFK from our terminal to the Long Island Railroad and then from there to the New Jersey Transit. So. And then my husband picked us up from New Jersey Transit. So it was a long, long commute from Madrid here. So that's Annie. I think she missed me. I just took her for a walk. It was a two miler. So yeah, let's just move our bodies a little bit. And then this week things are gonna ramp up. I'm gonna let you know how we do that because I probably ran another race not 100% sure, but I'll probably run another one in June. So, yeah. The Madrid Vintage Run 10K gave me my mojo back and I feel like super motivated to continue getting faster because I ran the whole thing in eight minute, 30 seconds per mile. So that should be my threshold pace, which is pretty fast. And I am excited to just take it, take it up a notch and see if I can run a full half marathon right around that pace. And then a marathon, obviously, I am going to run the Atlantic City Marathon in November, no, in October, it's at the end of October. So yeah, so that's gonna be a key marathon as well. I'm not gonna start training till July. So it's, yeah. It's a while till then, but yeah, okay. Let's get this going. I'm gonna go for a three mile run, just about. We're just gonna do, we'll do 3.1, 3.2, something like that. So let's get going. It's Ricky Baker on the beat. Es difícil disimular lo que pasa por mi mente cuando te tengo de frente. Yeah. Esas ganas de tocar ese cuerpo lentamente, divertirnos malamente con tu piel. Today, Tuesday, I'm doing two minute intervals. I'm gonna go my seventh right now. These are hard, you guys. These are really hard. Okay. 30 seconds and we go. I'm jogging in between. So, yeah. You jog in between. They're harder. <laughs> okay. This was the eighth interval. I didn't know I had programmed so many. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even check. Sometimes it's good not to know. Okay, I need to walk this one because there's ten, there's two more, so I'm not gonna be able to smash them. Whew. Okay, we're gonna go for it, guys. Like everything else we do, we don't have to ask anything. The music's pumping. I'm gonna do it. I am ready. Canción. 
I don't know. Poor kickers because I'm a little bit stupid. I programmed three minutes at the end. So, I'm gonna take this to 45 minutes. I haven't done a session this long in a while. So, we're gonna go. Last three minutes, guys. And then we just jog it home. I smashed that. I'm so proud of me. Ah, oh, man. I was a little rusty. We haven't done this two minute intervals in a while. So, okay. Okay. We're gonna pick it up a little bit here. We're gonna jog back home. Okay. I need to. I went into the office yesterday, didn't film anything, you guys. But today I'm working from home. Guys, you are supported by the thing where I put my toothbrushes. That's what you guys are. Both my son and my husband are working. I have to work as well, but I'm working from home today. Someone needs to stay home with the beast. I've been so stressed with work, you guys. It's been exciting thing. My manager asked me to create these dashboards on just this software. It's a business intelligence software. So, but I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm kind of learning on the go. So I created this dashboard for him. And yesterday I showed them to him and he was, he said he was very impressed. So that makes me happy. But again, I'm learning on the go and it's, it's been super stressful. So anyway, who would have told me that at the tender age of 50, I was going to learn how to program in a language, I'd like, uh, uh, yeah, I would have told you you're crazy, but you're not, because I just did. So, anyway, let's start the day, shall we? This is really stupid, you guys are gonna laugh, but my mom wanted us to take cookies from Spain, put them in a suitcase, just in a box, like sealed, and I was like, no, no, we don't need cookies. There are many cookies, different cookies in the United States. We don't need all the cookies. Finally, we decided to take them. They're flying. Like, I can't have enough cookies. Like, I'm usually not a cookie person, but I love these ones. So, here I am, eating Spanish cookies. They're so good. dying from the heat. It's super cool to have long hair, but oh, man, it's rough. It's really rough. Okay. I have a good playlist going on. I'm just gonna go for an easy run. I should have, I had planned to do intervals today but I'm just gonna go for an easy run and then I do 30 seconds uh, strides. So right now we are nine minutes and 42 seconds into this video. And if you are enjoying what you're watching, please give this video a like. And also if you're not subscribed, why not subscribing? It's free. I only do this for your entertaining and to keep you motivated and if I am doing that just a little bit, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We're gonna do the strides. Let's do it.
well guys this hat is not in the right spot let me fix it I think because it was in my suitcase it has a weird shape <laughs> it'll do okay I'm walking Annie I'm not gonna run today I decided to take time off from running today because tomorrow I want to do 10 miles I want to leave the house early and do 10 miles um, yeah so I'll probably be running about two hours because I'm gonna do them at an easy pace yeah just keep some of my endurance on my legs because in August I think it's August 7th I'm gonna start training for Atlantic City Marathon the training plan I have is only 15 weeks long and yeah the reason for that is I think I do better when my training plans are shorter and more intense so it packs intensity for only about really six weeks the rest of them are kind of fillers <laughs> um, it's not a high mileage plan I just want to experiment with less running and more rest days so it's only four days of running I think there's a couple weeks that has five days of running so I will share more about this plan once we get closer to the date that I start and also things could change you guys know me I'm resilient and I adjust and something might change oh my god there's I'm gonna show you look at that there's a rabbit and there's a dog who would love to eat rabbit today <laughs> I love rabbits I think those are my three favorite animals are probably dogs rabbits and dolphins yeah do you don't want to keep walking Annie she don't want to keep walking baby look at that it's a fat rabbit it's really big well I wouldn't call it fat but you know it, it's like a it's a big rabbit okay I'm gonna see if I can get her out of here and today is actually a nice day we just saw a squirrel animals are driving my dog crazy right Annie okay we're gonna wrap this up I'm listening to music I have a good playlist going on now I edit new songs and um, yeah I am a little bit I was chatting with my friend April hi April today and um, this morning early this morning and I told her that I was depressed <laughs> I thought she took it like to a tea and I had to explain it's not depression it's just post travel blues which is true and um, yeah it's just so hard to leave family I guess if you're not close with your family it's not as hard I'm very close with my parents and my brother so so it's always hard okay let's get this done They cross super slow. They don't have a sense of danger. Right, Annie? Good morning. I have the windows up, but I'm gonna put them down in a second. Cause it's freaking hot. Man. 78 degrees. I can't believe this. I took a shower and I never stopped sweating. <laughs> this is gross, guys. Okay, I was very hot after taking Annie for a walk and it took us longer than anticipated because she needed to take breaks and lay down on the shade on grass yeah okay we're gonna go to work it's very hot it's gonna be scorching today So this was a week of getting back into the swing of things slowly. It's awesome to have time off, to have vacation. I'm not complaining at all, but then it's so hard to come back to reality, to working and just to the regular routine. It was great to disconnect and be in Spain, to be honest with you. And it was just the perfect vacation, but all good things come to an end. 
introducing I made this I sewed this during COVID that's when my sewing kick started I chose to start sewing when it was the hardest in the history of the world to find a sewing machine that's when I started sewing I was watching my video that's going up on Monday at this point you all should have watched it and if you haven't I'll link it up here so you guys can go watch it I am so happy with how the vlog came to be I think it's yeah I like how I edited it and everything if I may say so myself anyway I think it's a great blog and if you haven't watched it you really should I hope it just takes off in the algorithm because I think it's one of my most personal vlogs which not necessarily means it will be quote-unquote successful in terms of views I would share anyway if only 20 people watched I'd share anyway so well guys I woke up super super early today it's Saturday and I am going to let me take this off I am wearing this way too much seems like I have an implant in my ears I need to film some reels for Instagram because I got sent product and I promised to do a reels if I liked the product so I'm gonna film it right now here in my backyard and then we're gonna go for a run and I want to do 10 miles and the temperature is really good so we actually might accomplish the 10 miles my bun was moving while I was filming that reel but okay man I need something else to go for a run this is not gonna do it okay guys I have everything I have to put my water bottles here but yeah let's get the 10 miler done we're gonna do intervals today we're gonna do 130 90 30 we're gonna do I started playing my playlist and the second song was gladiator I love this song so 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 much it's the main theme I just think it's beautiful and perfect and I don't know it gives me the chills every time I hear this song so and it reminds me of Rome obviously because it's from Gladiator um, which I haven't been I don't want to complain about this but I haven't been to Rome in um, 10 years no can't be 10 years eight years I think yeah eight years yeah one of my favorite cities in the world Okay, we're gonna keep going. And the movie, Gladiator, Russell Crowe in that movie is just perfect, is he not? I think yeah something like that not paying attention to the base I am paying attention to my heart rate and now test you guys think it changed or not the longest the friend with this best and the hottest pretty hot right now okay i'm gonna show you garmin turning down look at that <laughs> mostly one and two and i was going at a pretty good clip. Let's check. I did 
11.37 and then heart rate average 129 oh wow yeah lowest I've ever run ever guys yeah it's pretty good Oof. okay I need a shower Hi guys, I wanted to wrap this up and tell you what I did this whole week so you have a more holistic view. This was my first week coming back to working out and running after the 10K in Madrid that went so well. So I did 24 miles from Sunday to Saturday, which I think is a good week. And my workouts, my speed workouts were actually really good as well, so I can't complain. I also did 40 minutes of strength training. Moving forward, I'm going to be focusing more on strength training so that I am really strong before I start training seriously for my Atlantic City Marathon, which will be in August. I will share that training plan with you in a future video. So if you don't want to miss out on that, please make sure you subscribe. If you enjoy this kind of content, give it a like. That's how YouTube decides to push this in the algorithm, push it on the cyberspace so other people can watch it as well. And if this was entertaining, I hope you decide to subscribe. I love you guys and fearless.